Hi, I'm Katie with Vivere Designs by Kate. And a couple days ago, I made a video about using compressed air. Today, I want to show you a little bit about my air compressor. I have just started on my YouTube channel, so if you find the information I'm sharing useful, um, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me some likes. Uh, YouTube wants you to hit a certain threshold and then the magic starts to happen. So help me make the magic happen. And um, if there's any topics you want me to see, uh, if you want to see me <laughs> present upon, I can do this, then let me know in the comments, right? Um, I'm happy to consider any and all topics that I can at least share what I do. There's a million different ways to do things and the information I'm giving you is just what I've been doing. Right, so this is my air compressor. You'll see here it has an adjustable dial. It has a, a moisture drain there. And when I hit the on button, there goes the pressure. You can see I have mine set at about 60 and I pretty much keep it there. This you buy separate. You can see it's by 0 0.0 and you pull that little trigger. You don't put anything in there. That's if you're actually using it um, for airbrushing. I'm using it as an air compressor. So each time I push it, it drains that tank. And you'll see So you see 40 is about the lowest it goes as I'm pulling the trigger. That's why I have it set at 60. I don't want it losing so much pressure that it doesn't move the ink that the way that I want it to move the ink. And quite frankly, sometimes that's why I use compressed air because I need a little more power than the air compressor will give me. So now I'll show you how it works. All right, so my paper, I'll put down a little bit of black ink to Yep, I left it on. Um, boy. Put on some isopropyl. Alright, so I thought I would do something else. Never mind that. Um I don't tend to, let's see, I don't tend to use this one when I'm trying to be very specific about where I want my ink to go. Let's see, so if I'm gonna put a little bit, this is one way people do flowers. Throw my. There we go. I just had way too much ink down. A little isopropyl there. So someone once asked me how loud the air compressor is. Um, you have to look up the specs on that, but I don't think it's very loud. I mean, I've got bedrooms right next to me and no one's ever been like, air, air compressor is waking me up. I poured a lot of ink on there. Only we could put it back in the bottle, right? So there you go. That's how an air compressor works. If you want to compare it to the compressed air, go find that video. It was the one I posted just previous to this one. I think it was a couple days ago because um, I worked out in the garden all weekend. All right. Again, like and subscribe would really mean a lot to me. Thank you. Bye.